Hi, this is Christine with Coco Daisy, and today I'm going to go through my setup for May. And this month is kind of dear to my heart because it was it's actually one of my all-time um, favorite uh, themes that we did with the birds and the typewriters last uh, September. We've had countless numerous requests to bring it back but we don't ever want to repeat something so but yet at the same time we really wanted to take care of our customers because there was such a high demand to bring that back so what Arlie and I did we sat down and we talked about how can we how can we make something a sequel so that it's not not a repeat but it will fit in with with that demand that people had it will have the same feel um, so what we did is we created we changed the color palette um, and instead of the uh, the uh, telephones and the theme being um, all about talking and communicating with people via giving them a call and that we went with the we went with uh, flowers and pens and pencils. So we added that in with the typewriter and the birds so that it made it fresh and different. And like I said, the color palette is, is um, been changed. And then, so, and then we, we added in the whole notion. So the theme changed to write your own story. So we wanted to talk more about writing and people thinking about um, how to tell your story. So that's how what we did to create a sequel using some of those, those bits that were so sought after, but at the same time keeping it, keeping it fresh and new. And so Arlie took those little birds and drew a whole new set of birds for us for, for this month. Um, and the flowers, she drew all of those as well. And then um, we used a few of the old typewriters that we had to, to kind of bring that nod in to, to that, um, that first kit. And then we also have some new ones. So thus is the, uh, the sequel that we created for this month. And I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. Um, the colors are super for spring. The little flowers are super for spring. And I'm just, I'm thrilled with, um, with what she came up with. She worked real hard on all of that artwork. So I'm thrilled with it. I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you that. The other thing that's kind of a, a huge bonus for me that I love is that because it is a sequel, we were able to, um, if you had, the, if you were lucky enough to have one of the original September kits, then those items will work with this month's kit. So if you have any of anything left over that you made, like some clips or you have some washi tape, it will still work with um, with this month's kit. So that was I, what I thought ended up being a fun bonus. So uh, I'm using my Kiki K. Um, it's a real pale pink. It's not necessarily a, it's kind of a blush pink, I guess. It's a real pale pink. And then it has this great gray and white stripe interior, which goes so well with, with um, the black and gray that's that's in the kit. So a little a uh, couple things that I did in the pocket. Um, the little bird here is from uh, the printable. A couple things I wanted to show you about those printables too. And then I'll show you some other stuff. So the printables this month even included um, some of these great writing prompts. And if you look on one of the dashboards for this month, these are all of the, the wording or the lettering and the, the sayings that are on that dashboard. They're all grouped together. So they kind of, the text actually creates art, but then Arlie uh, listed them all. So it's kind of fun if you want to have some prompts for, for writing some things, journaling, then this is included with the printables. So here's that little bird. Instead of cutting it out as a three by four card, I just cut out the little bird and I tucked him in the top there. And then you'll see later on where I, I cut out and I used this on one of the dashboards. I did use this as a bookmark, so 
again, those printables are so, there's so much on them. She fills up the extra space around the edges. Um, just cut that stuff out and use them as little die cuts. It's so fun. So I even used on one of the back of one of my dashboards, I cut up and used one of the sayings uh, from the printable as well. And then um, this little piece here, and you, you all have heard me mention this countless times, but I'm going to mention it again. One of the great things about the inserts is its artwork. Cut it up and use it as artwork. If you're not going to use them necessarily to do any planning on, cut these up and use them as artwork. So you'll see uh, one of these stripe pages I turned into a bookmark. But this back part here, I cut that out and I tucked that in right there. So they don't waste it. Use it. Use it for jotting notes. You can um, use extra ones to make, you could even cut these up in half and make your own little booklet to tuck in your purse. There's so many different things that you can do with, with all of these pages. So you can see where I, I cut that out out of one of mine. And then uh, some die cuts. This was one of the 3x4 note cards that I turned into a little tag. And um, some of the, the cute little uh, pen and pencil little die cuts I, I tucked in there. And we had, this was one of my favorite things from the kits. We had all of these great embroidery patches. And we had a number of people kind of, well, what do we do with them? Well, they have adhesive on the back. They're basically just think of them like a sticker because that's basically what they are. They're just a thicker sticker. So there's adhesive on the back of that. So you can simply stick these anywhere you want and just use them as a sticker. But they're, they're just absolutely beautiful. My mother actually took a couple of them, and I've got to get pictures from her. She took a couple of them and stitched them on her jeans and a coat that she has. She took this little guy and stitched him on the pocket of a coat she has, and it's adorable. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that you could stitch these on, um, on a pouch if you wanted to, or maybe use a little heavier duty adhesive if you were going to put it on a pouch. But pretty much anything else, you can just stick them right on. Now, this guy, um, just like a lot of the stuff that if I'm going to put it in my planner and I don't want it to move around, I'll just use one or two little glue dots just to kind of hold it in place and then it won't do anything to my planner. I can just peel it back up. So I didn't want to stick him on my planner. Um, I just used a couple little glue dots so I can pull him back up. And I think I'm going to do like my mom did and take one of my jean jackets and put these guys on my jean jacket. I think they'd be just adorable that way. So once you're done using them in your planner, then you can go back and use them that way. Um, so that's kind of what I have going on in the pocket. There's a couple little fabric bows in here. And then my, um, we'll just go on to, I'll just flip through and show you what else I've got going on here. So my daily um, pages, I always do two pages because I like to keep one just as the divider and then one with the calendar page. So I covered this with the adorable um, paper from In the Planner Kit. And then every month I we have a packing card and I like to, um, I have a little note about the, the kits that month, and I'd like to tuck that on there. I think that looks cute. And then just a piece of acetate. As I mentioned I, last month, and I've probably mentioned it numerous times, um, I like to just add bits of acetate, um, overlays, or just vellum. Just, it's just kind of fun. It's just another texture, and it's another layer and it's just kind of fun to have in your planner. I showed on my Instagram feed, I showed how I made this little guy, and this is another one of those um, embroidery patches, and I stuck him to a piece of pattern paper, and I took a craft knife, and I cut that out, and then I punched a um, just a heavy cardstock uh, circle, this one happens to be the glitter, and then I sandwiched him um, but the, the paper clip between him and then the, the uh, cardstock circle. So that I made a little clip out of that one. So again, just they're, they're different because they're embroidery, but don't treat them so differently that you, you don't want to use them 
um, as a die cut or as a as a sticker because that's what they're meant for. I have not had a chance yet to do anything more than just number my my pages, but I'm feeling pretty good about the fact that it is only the the sixth, and I'm going to have this video out too. So yay! So. I'm sorry that they, they run late. We're trying to get ahead, but it's just, it's just a pure timing issue. Um, the other thing that we had in the Planner Classified kit was an oversized um, piece of acetate or overlay. And we had a number of people kind of, well, what do we do with that? Because it's, it's kind of too large if I don't have an A5 or I, you know, I have a, a, a Dory booklet. And the intent on this I like a lot of times to have things that are exaggerated. So like for instance, in my kitchen, I have like a four foot silver spoon hanging on the wall. I like things that sometimes are exaggerated. And that was the idea behind this was to, to make it exaggerated. Not necessarily that you have to be able to read all of it, but just that it, if you only saw part of it, that would be okay. Because throughout this kit, the text and the lettering is, kind of art and so that was the idea behind this is is to make it exaggerated and to make it um, for you to use in pieces so one of the things I did I cut it um, I cut it side so it would run sideways in my in my a5 as just a little divider for my weekly pages but then I also took a sheet to show you how I wrapped it around my dory booklet so I basically just cut it down a little bit and um, I used a, a bone um, a folder to, to like really try and, and fold that down. And then I didn't, I didn't adhere this at all. All I did was, was uh, wrap it around and when you put it in your binder, the elastic holds it together. And so I think that turned out really kind of cute. Again, they're exaggerated. I like the fact that they wrap around it and it's, it's just really kind of fun. So that's what I did with mine. And you could do the same thing on any size story booklet. And again, don't worry that you can't read all of that. The idea is, is that that lettering is kind of like art. And you can always cut this the other way and, and uh, put it in your, in your um, ring binder or in your dory booklet. I've not had a chance to, to do much else with, with my, my standard... Um, my standard TN right now. So what this one is, I should mention, this is from Webster's Pages. So I'll get that kind of decorated because one of the things I want to do, because it's planting season and I love to garden, is I took kind of a plain one that just has this grid and I'm going to use this to write out my planting list and I would like to, every year I'll create some real pretty um, different pots with annuals in them and I love the combination and I keep meaning to take a picture so I can recreate it the next year and then I forget. So what I'm hoping to do is take a bunch of pictures of um, different parts of my garden and keep that in here with my planting list and notes so I just kind of have it for next year. So that's my goal for that. And in the planner add-on kit we had this cute typewriter charm. I don't know if you can see that. So I put that on here as well. So I just added a little tab to that piece and then I can quickly go to my, uh, my weekly section if I need to. And this is something that I, you, you've seen me do now a couple months. I just stamp um, something, I use one of the stamps from one of the kits generally and stamp it in different color inks and then I'll write which of those inks they are. That way when I go to, to stamp in my planner I, I can just look at these and I can grab the one I want rather than testing it and, and trying to find the one that works. So those are my week on two pages. I haven't, I haven't messed with those yet. I'm hoping to maybe once we get shipping done. Um, and then my meal plan which I do every month and this one was um, this is a personal size dashboard and again this month I used those great tab stamps that were part of the April kit the April planner kit last month I just love those and um, I always add 
a few little uh, notepad sheets for my grocery list, and then I do my meal planning on there. And then this was what I was talking about using your stripe page and cutting that down and using it as a bookmark. I put that here on, um, on a bookmark and then this is one of the uh, dashboards that I cut down and put on the pattern paper for the other side. So that turned out really cute. And then the one side of my calendar page, I always have my little goals page for that month. And then my calendar spread. And I just did some, some of the die cuts, a little bit of stamping, some alpha stickers. And then as I like to do a few of the, the die cuts, I raise with a little foam adhesive. One of the things that I wanted to show you the stamp sets, and I think we may still have some in the store. There was mine got cut up because it's the sample one, but this is the um, this one. There's a bunch of circles, and they this one was from the 12 by 12 memory keeping kit, and then this one there's another one that's <laughs> gone rogue. I don't know where it went. Um, this one was part of the the pocket memory keeping kit, and the reason we the reason I wanted to do all of the, the circle stamps was for layering. And so I was really excited about the idea that we have these different size circles, but they are meant to fit with the chipboard circles. There's two different uh, styles of chipboard circles that we had in the 12 by 12 memory keeping and the pocket memory keeping. And so what is fun is that you can layer everything because then we also had there were die cut uh, circles and then there were stickers in some of the kits that were circles as well so all of these circles can be layered so you can stamp one and then you can put a chipboard inside that and layer everything so I was just so excited about all the possibilities I'm super super excited to be able to play with those so when you see, I did the only thing I got to do so far, so I'm really kind of chomping at the bit to play with it because when I designed the kits, I had in my head all of these ideas of how I wanted to layer all of these circles and I, I just, I can't wait to, to play. So uh, what I did on here is one of them, I, it looks like kind of, a, kind of a squiggle circle. So I did that to kind of circle a couple of the special days of the month and ran some of the some little alpha stickers over top. And then this was kind of a happy accident that I thought turned out neat. Originally I had stamped the word shipping in kind of this coral red. And I didn't, I didn't like how it looked with these. I thought it needed to be black, but I had already adhered everything else down. So I went back and I stamped the black over top and kind of made it where the coral is a little kind of a shadow and I think that turned out kind of cute so it's a happy little accident on that one and then I used one of the pencil die cuts kind of as my my arrow so to speak of like designating those days for that and then the, the back page just added a sticker and a couple of die cuts and then this was Something. There's a couple of things that I did here that I wanted to show you. So this was um, a note card from, or a journaling card from the pocket memory keeping kit. And I added the month there and then I stamped in um, the days. And this is just kind of handy a lot of times when I'm on the phone or I'm trying to schedule things, I'm trying to think of, of a date and rather than try to flip to my calendar, I can keep this right in with my my um, my daily, where I am on my daily to-dos, and I can just quick look at, at the date. And then on the back, we had in the, and I'm trying to remember which kit, and I'm, I don't want to say the wrong thing, so I'm just, uh, I'm not going to guess, but we had two of the, um, the clear pockets, the adhesive pockets. This was the smaller one, and I put this on the back so that I could add in a couple of our, it's sticky, a couple of the little sticky notes rather than have the, the full 50 sheets, which is a lot and can add even more bulk. I just have a couple of them there and then I can just slide them right in the pocket. So I've got those handy too. 
So that's my little note card that I have. And then this was a printable. I did a number of printables, or I used a number of the printables. I should rephrase that. And then this one said, I have so much to say. And I crossed out say and added the word do. And then this is kind of a, a daily schedule that is organic. It keeps changing. It's one I'm trying to stick to. And I don't know how long I've been showing you this now. What, maybe a year? <laughs> I'm still trying. Don't give up. Um, and then again, one of the little, I just used one of the embroidery birds as a sticker and just put him right on there. One of the little, a couple of the die cuts. And the, um, my, the paper that I have in my printer that I just use for printables is not, it's just regular copy paper. So it's not the, the nice thickness that our planner pages are. So to make it a little more sturdy, I'll just adhere it to a piece of the, the pattern paper. So that's what that is. And then this little guy is from last year, last September's kit. So as I said, I mixed in a few of the things that would coordinate. And then this is my little pocket. As I mentioned uh, before with the, with the sticky note pad, it's quite bulky if you have the whole one in there. The same goes with the notepad. So what I like to do is make some sort of little pocket that I can keep a few notepad sheets right in my binder, but not, not make it um, so bulky. So what I did is I took uh, one of the personal size dashboards and a piece of pattern paper, and then the actual packaging. So every month, the packaging, the backer cards for all of our custom items, we, we come up with artwork that um, goes with that month so then hopefully you can reuse those and not just throw them away or at least reuse some of them and uh, so this was the the backer card I cut off the the little top part that said Coco Daisy and then I just sewed it on there and now I have a, a cute little pocket so that's that and then one of the versions uh, there someone asked if I could show some examples on how what to do with your one little word and if you're familiar with one little word it is something that Allie Edwards started where every year you pick a word that you want to focus on for that year and to, if, to help you try and achieve something personal and so my word for the year is nurture so one of the examples I have here is I took the packing card and I covered up the the little the little thing on the top that has the name of the kit, which was my story. And I just printed out this, my one little word and cut that and put that on there. And then I used some alpha stickers and, uh, and just put my word. And then on the back, I took a, a note a journaling card from the pocket memory keeping kit. And I measured this actual area in the, in the, in the paper was blank. What I did is I measured that space and on my computer I typed up the definition of the word nurture and then I sent, I sent, I printed that out and then on a light box I laid this card over that so I could line it up. I kind of temporarily attached it and then I ran the card through the printer and it printed it right on the card and it, it lined up just perfect so it looks like that's actually printed on there. So that's uh, one of the examples for using your one little word. And then I always, um, I create a little, a little page that has like my to-do list. So it's not what I need to do that day per se, but it's, it's stuff like I need to make a phone call. I need to, this is something I wanted to do this week and I need to get to. But I found myself, I write it on, on, you know, on Sunday and then I didn't get to it and then I'd write it on Monday and I wouldn't get to it. So instead of rewriting it constantly, I just have a little sheet with those things that you know you've got to do. They're not a goal, but you've, you've got to get them done. And then, so I just have this little sheet that I stick in there. This was a printable. And don't be afraid when you get these printables, it does, to me, it absolutely does not matter what size is listed on here. So this one, it says printable personal Dory page. I would just cut that out and use that in my A5. I would cut that out and use it in my standard because 
I like the idea of the different layers. That's just kind of fun. I don't want to adhere to this strict rule where everything has to be an A5 size page. And so I think this was, um, the. I don't even, that was listed as, just give me a second and I can find it. This was, can, this was listed at the, as a personal planner page. And so I just put some pattern paper on the back, did a little stamping, crossed out the, I have so much to say, crossed out say and put do on there. And then here's another example of the one little word. So I did a couple of these. So this one um, is again, a journaling card from uh, the pocket memory keeping kit. And we sell the journaling cards separate. So if you don't want the whole pocket memory keeping kit, but let's say you really want to use a lot of the journaling cards, like I use them a lot in my planner to either decorate or um, function wise, or just even just to tuck in, you can um, subscribe to those, just the pocket um, journaling cards separately. So that's an option. So I just took some, um, some of our alpha stickers from, I think it was a couple months ago, put those on there. And then I had a, a little uh, phrase sticker that said, do more than exist. And I put that on there. And then on the back, I did the same thing. I ran the card through the printer and printed that uh, definition directly on there. And I thought that turned out cute. So there's another example. And it's good, I think, to have that in there so that you, I mean, the whole purpose of having one little word is to trying to focus on it and, and, and reach those personal goals that you've ascribed to that word and what it means to you. So I think it's good to have it right in your planner. And then uh, another of the bookmarks. This one is uh, the pattern paper from the 12 by 12 kit and then uh, pattern paper from the planner kit. I just put those two together. And then this is um, one of those pieces from the printable. And then just a couple die cuts that I added on there. And then, put that part together. And then I will show you my dashboards. So this one, is just one of the one of the dashboards from the dashboard kit. I added one of those chipboard circles from uh, one of the memory keeping kits. And then, as I said, here's an example where I used one of those cards to to decorate the back of of that dashboard. And then I always use the um, the personal size version of the dashboards to make um, other dividers uh, to kind of. Uh, section off that um, one particular tab. So you can see those and I just sandwich them together. And then, oh, and here's an example actually. Um, he was from last September, but he's just a little die cut that I turned into a clip. And just some um, some ribbon that I made into clips. Again, another example of um, the journaling cards, the dashboards, and then here's where I used um, um, another one of I used it, like I said I used a lot of the printable this month. I cut this one out right here and just put that on there with a um, little bird die cut. And there's another one of the little bird die cuts. And then on the back, instead of a punched, um, a punched piece of cardstock to sandwich the clip between, I used some of the epoxy dots from last month's kit, from the April kits, in, uh, because some of the colors worked really well. So I did the, that one with a little green epoxy dot from that dashboard. This one I used um, the 4x6 card that was in the planner add-on to decorate the back of that one. And another one of my um, bookmarks. So just some pattern paper. This was a dashboard cut down with a couple of the little bird die cuts. And then uh, this again was the from the printable. So I used that. And I actually chose this this black and um, white pattern paper because I knew you'd see part of it behind it and I liked I liked how you could kind of see that pattern come through. I thought that looked good. 
another one and then this one I thought was kind of fun. I don't want to take it out because my planner's going to explode so I hope you can kind of see that. But the paper that was in the 12 by 12 kit there was a there was a journaling card that mimics the pattern paper. So what I did is I tried to find the exact spot where that would kind of line up. And so it creates kind of this, this fun, um, kind of this fun dimension that it, it looks like it's the same thing kind of layered up just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. You can kind of see the shadow where the card is, but it, it lines up really well. It's really kind of fun. And then I just took one of the little chipboard circles from one of the memory keeping kits and put that in the middle. So that was how I decorated that one. And then this one. And this was just a fabric um, flower that I had gotten from Michael's, I think. Michael's or, yeah, I think it was Michael's. And then I just sandwiched a clip between that and, and a piece of the glitter cardstock. And then on the back of this one, I used a, a journaling note card and one of the, the um, phrases or one of the quotes from the printable again and a little die cut. And that's how I put that one together. And then lastly, I wanted to show you last month I mentioned how I had used one of my pen loops, but I had adhered it to write directly to the, um, the divider page. And if you did that to like your divider page or your dashboard, if it was strictly for that month, then you'd kind of be like, well, can I use it again? I wanted to make one that I could use over and over. So what I did is I, I took a piece of really heavy um, overlay. And you could do this just with a couple of pieces of thick cardstock or pattern paper, or even if there's a, a particular set of dashboards that you absolutely love or are kind of neutral, you could do the same thing. But anything that that is maybe a little bit more neutral or it's just something that you love so much you don't mind having in your planner every month. So I just did this clear piece and I added one of the um, one of the pen loops directly to that. So now this I can just take out and use every single month because this is some artwork from um, from last September that I absolutely adore that I just wanted to use again. So I just put that on there and and now I have I can use my pen loop because I always need more than than two or three <laughs> if I could do two or three. But um, then I have an extra one at least for my highlighter. And I, could, I can just stick that in every month. So that's what that is. I wanted to mention also, uh, I was so excited about this pen that we did for this month. It's this, um, it has the write your own story. I don't know if you can see that. And then it has that black and white um, kind of polka dot effect. So, and it's it's got the same kind of, um, gel-like ink that we've had in our past pens that just writes beautifully. So that, and it's a little bit of a thinner pen, so it's kind of fun, a little something different that I, turned out really, really cute. So we have that. And then I wanted to mention, we currently have going uh, a giveaway on our Instagram account, on the, not my personal one, but on the Coco Daisy one, there is a giveaway running and I had a couple extra of the pouch that was last September. And because this is the sequel, this will coordinate with this kit. And then we purchased a couple of the Pen Gems little black dress pens. And then there's a whole ton of other goodies in the giveaway, but these are two of the main things that I wanted to mention that are, that are in there. There's also, um, I think there's a there's a whole set of uh, of stickers and just um, a, a whole kit in there. There's also a, a if I'm trying to remember right, there's a TN cover in the one. And then what it is is it the giveaway is you tag a friend and if you win, your friend also wins. So there's two prizes. There's one for you and one for your friend. So I wanted to to point that out. With that giveaway ends. I think on the 12th. So you'll want to go to the um, Coco Daisy Instagram account and sign up for that because 
it would I, it's such a cute little pouch and yeah and I'm I'm kind of excited to be to be doing that little giveaway so I wanted to mention that quick a minute um, other than that that is kind of everything and how I've set up the month I'm gonna try uh, through the month a lot of times when I do these videos, I do them later in the month and I have more ideas and more content because as I've planned, I've thought of new ways to use the stuff. Um, but because I'm filming this earlier in the month, there's some things that I still want to do that um, I haven't done yet. So what I will try to do is either post little videos um, on our Instagram or even little pictures and with some just some explanation so that uh, when I get those ideas that I still share them with you. So thank you all so much. Uh, I love that you guys um, uh, love the product as much as I do and I'm excited to always show you kind of my vision and how I, how I use the product. And um, as always, if you have a question, leave it in the comments below and I'll try to get to it as soon as I can. We've got shipping this next week, so it probably won't be real soon. Um, but it, uh, join our uh, Planner Fans Facebook group too because the, the girls are constantly sharing so many on our design team. They're constantly sharing so many great ideas and inspiration on there. And also our customers, when they, when they chime in, they've always got great ideas. And it, it helps me think of new things to, to try and come up with, to share with you, and to put in our kits. So please join that as well. And again, thank you all so much, and I'll talk to you soon.